Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I got to attend QIP, the Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics at the University of Oxford. Enjoy the vlog! The venue is beautiful Keeble College. Part of Oxford University, this stunning Gothic building hosts many programmes for visitors. On more than one occasion I felt like I was at Hogwarts, with a beautiful dining hall and the courtyard to match it. QIP was set up by fabulous Italian physicist Daniela Bortoletto, whose impressive resume includes being co-discoverer of the Higgs boson at CERN and being head of particle physics at Oxford. As you can see, the agenda was pretty packed. I'll be focusing on the two blue arrows, but feel free to pause the screen if you want to have a little read of it all. On the first day, we visited the Culham Centre for Fusion Energy in Abingdon. We were given a behind-the-scenes tour of the equipment by staff and got to see what roles in that industry looked like. We also got to see JET, the joint European Taurus, one of the world's largest plasma experiments. Here's a picture of the 2018 QIP crowd. If you can spot where I am, pop it in the comments. Once we got back to Keeble, we were given an introduction to the conference by Daniela. Here she told us the agenda and what to expect, the aims of QIP, and a little bit about her career and how she came to design the programme. It was fantastic to see such an inspiring female physicist in action. For more about women in physics, see my previous video. Day two started off just as wonderfully as the first. Spoiler alert, there's a lot more snow on day three. Again, I'll be focusing on the blue arrows and showing you our visit to the Oxford laboratories and one of my personal highlights, the session on medical physics. At the Oxford labs, I got to see something I had never seen up close before, quantum computers. The setup came in handy as several months later I was lucky enough to spend the day with Kerry Brenner at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory looking at laser plasma physics. One of QIP's main aims was to provide career guidance. This is definitely something I took away. The medical physics session inspired me to research the field and subsequently complete work experience in radiotherapy and nuclear medicine that same year. Day two at the college was topped off by a career panel hosted by Daniela's husband, the head of the physics department at Oxford. There was an impressive amount of people on the panel, representing various paths, such as industry, further education and research. The panellists spoke to us about how they got into their respective fields and there was plenty of audience participation in the form of a QA. and a That night we had a fancy meal in the dining hall. The food was excellent and by this point I had met some great people so the conversation was flowing. We then took part in Café Scientifique, where tables were set up with a host to each and we rotated round them, talking with the panellists we met earlier that day and able to ask more questions and getting to know them. Day three I woke up to snow on the ground. The college looked even more beautiful, even if I did start to wonder how the drive back to Wales that evening was going to pan out. It was another exciting day, with my favourite part by far being a lecture by Dr Susie Imber, the winner of the BBC programme that I loved, Astronauts, Do You Have What It Takes? If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Twelve contestants complete challenges and tasks to be given the chance to enter the astronaut training programme. Dr Susie Imber and Dr Merritt Moore spoke to us about their time on the show and their impressive backgrounds. Merritt is a quantum physicist and professional ballerina who does a lot to inspire a new generation of physicists. Susie is a planetary scientist and vice-chancellor at Leicester University. She's also an experienced mountaineer. She wrote code to identify mountains in the Himalayas and the Andes and has recently spoken to thousands of school children, helping generate an interest in science. QIP was a fantastic experience and one I'd highly recommend any female to apply for, and here's why. Reason number one, networking. Whether it's with peers who are future stars in science, guest speakers or industry leaders, I left with friends and massively expanded my network. Number two, career guidance. I honestly wasn't sure what I wanted to do after my degree. Being introduced to medical physics has led to a lot of work experience and will hopefully lead to a career. Thanks for watching, make sure you comment, like and subscribe for more.